Hello everybody, welcome to Ponytails Talking Pigskins. I am Laurie Fitzpatrick and today we're going to do a little breakdown on Walker Little. He's a tackle from Stanford. He actually opted out of his 2020 season and then his 2019 season he got hurt in one of his first games against Northwestern. He actually had a right knee injury. So he's a guy that uh, didn't play the last two years of his college career, but he was picked up uh, by the Jacksonville Jaguars. And he's actually becoming, I want to say, kind of a stud, honestly. He was, it's, I don't want to say it's surprising, but he's been doing very well in outshining uh, some of the other tackles on the team, especially in early in training camp. Urban Meyer said himself that. Uh, hey, I thought he was good, and he's even better than I thought. Um, so he's a guy that is massive. He's 6'7". Uh, he's 312 pounds, give or take. He only has he's less than 20% body fat. So uh, he had that time the last two years to really work on his technique uh, and, and maybe build some muscle uh, through the gym since, since he wasn't able to get much playing time on the field. Uh, but honestly, he's doing really well. And we're just going to cover some of the plays uh, from the very first uh, Jaguars preseason game. So thank you for joining. So one of the first things you'll notice about Walker Little uh, is he has a pretty quick shovel in like his first step uh, is pretty good into the backfield. Now, uh, he was able to pick up a stunt here. And it was it was a small stunt. Uh, this was already in, in the second half, so you saw how he kind of, he, he saw it coming. Uh, he, he kept his eyes up as uh, as his guy kind of moved in a little bit. So you can see this step inwards that they took. And so uh, on the inside, the, the tackle on the inside, he's actually keeping his arms extended, keeping that separation. So, so he's able to uh, go over on the other side uh, and try to get get quick. He's going to try to pull his, try to pull that left guard forward so he can use that momentum to swing around the outside of the tackle. But Walker Little was there. Uh, he did a really good job of keeping his head up and seeing that transition take place. One of the next plays, uh, it's kind of a delayed, uh, I don't really know what this is called. Maybe we can pull one of our O-line experts in. But if you see the inside defensive tackle kind of, kind of forces both of the offensive linemen, uh, he kind of forces them both to put his hand, to put their hands on him as the defensive end kind of delays. He, he even runs behind the defenseman a little bit, maybe so to get out of the tackle's view. But you can see Walker's little his head stays up and he sees him coming and he picks him up at the last second. So I just really like this play by Walker Little. His, his head is always up. His head's basically on a swivel you know, what they say in the football world. And it's, it's just something that you like to see, right, from your uh, from your left tackle. So uh, let's move on to the next play. I believe it's actually the same play. So we're going to watch that full time. He pushes that guy off, and he picks up that second um, rusher seamlessly. Now here we have a run play. So this is the first run play of the evening. Here he is. This is... Uh, this is 11 personnel, so you're going to have a tight end on the outside. This is the tight end. And then you have Walker Little right here. And watch how watch how much he pushes this, uh, <clears throat> this uh, defender back. So he gets, he gets the leverage from, for starters. He gets the leverage underneath of him. Uh, and he basically uses his body weight to push him all the way out. And then he actually picks up another defender. So even though you know the running back didn't pick his side, which he should have, he didn't pick he didn't choose to run behind him and maybe he did, but then you see this other guy coming to kind of come over. I think he's a linebacker. Uh, but Walker Little is all the way at the second level. Then he actually picks up the second guy here. So um yeah, it's just good things you want to see. Uh, when it comes to a uh 
you know, a, a second round, a mid second round uh, tackle pick. So the, it wasn't a guy who who they picked very high, it's not, right? It's not the first round, but they knew that this O line uh, in the draft had a lot of depth. So they knew they would be able to get a good value no matter how late it was going to be. And Walker Little was, he he's middled up. You know, his freshman and sophomore year, he was all pro uh, in college, like all Pac-12 uh, in, in, his, uh, in his college days from Stanford. So, uh, you know, he has the medals and he, he there was actually a cl- clip of him in high school going against uh, Chase on. And he was actually playing the right tackle position. So he's used to playing both sides of the line. But the Jaguars are trying him at left tackle, uh, even though they have Cam Robinson there. So we'll see how if he continues to play well like this uh, and if he's able to maybe swing over to the right side. Basically, it's in the other lineman's hands. You know, whoever doesn't play well, he's going to be able to take that spot, I think. Uh, So let's go back to this play here. Uh, it's It's pass protection. I don't know if that's Luton, but I think uh, Walker Little does a really good job of extending out. And here you just expect the quarterback to kind of step up into the pocket. He kind of does. He doesn't let him get by him at all. Uh, he's able to to stay level, uh, keep a good angle. One thing you don't want to see is uh, offensive linemen stand straight up because then their leverage is all gone. So uh, Walker Little did a really good job there. Here's a draw play. Uh, you have the tight end coming across the line. Uh, Walker Little. Actually, it didn't even go to his side, so this play is kind of non-existent. But he just does a good job. Puts his hands up pretty quickly. Gets his hand right on the guy. Yeah, he 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 waits for him. He backs up. Kind of waits for him to come. Oh, this is a this is a different. Is this a different play? Yeah, it's a different play. It's a screen play. So yeah, not much there, but um, this is almost every single clip that he was in. So even if he, there's nothing that he does spectacular, I'm trying to show you guys everything. So so you could say that maybe this guy forced Minshew to throw it. Um, but it wasn't bad by him. Uh, you know, he gets pushed back a little bit. Uh, you can see the Cleveland Brown uh, rusher kind of comes in strong. Tries to cut inside and then use his brute force to just push push through. So yeah, he, he, gets, he gets Walker Little to kind of step back a little bit. Um, but I think he, he still does a good job to, to kind of stay, stand his ground and stay on his feet. Another push tries to basically push off him, but uh, Walker Little knows that it's a screen. So, oh, it's is it? Yeah. Here's a run blocking play. He does a great job of turning his back, uh, so it's basically giving the running back a lane, which is a huge lane. Look at all of this space. So you have a uh, AJ Can. Or, no, AJ Cannon, I don't think he played in this game. Uh, But uh, the left guard, he does a really good job here. Uh, But this lane is huge. So Walker Little is the start of this uh, huge gap. And he decides to go in instead. It's really tough not having the All-22, especially if you're trying to get a good look on offensive linemen. Uh, because that's how you're able to see truly the gain, the gains, the the gaps in lanes uh, from you know the point of view of the running back. So without all 22, especially in preseason, it's a little tough. Next play. All right, he does let go of his block here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so it was a little tough. Uh, he was able to hold him for it. He pushes him out. And sometimes, as I remember when I played, when I played running back, when I was protecting for my quarterback, sometimes when you take a guy where he wants to go, because then, you know, the quarterback, like, you can't dictate where he 
unless you're an anchor and you you want to stay put sometimes though if a guy's going to cut it wide let him cut it wide because then either the quarterback can step up into the pocket or the running back can choose you know the lane uh and maybe that that's something that he was kind of doing here let i'm going to let him i'm going to let him take it all the way to the outside you know oh you want to push off oh, no nah, looks like he may have lost that battle there <laughs> I really like uh, this one in particular because uh, I think Walker Little can anticipate uh, the move that he was about to be put in. So that shuffle, what he, what this uh, edge rusher does with his hands, it's kind of like boom, boom, boom. Where am I gonna go? But like Walker's like, dude, you're gonna go to the outside. You go to the outside every time. <laughs> so I think uh, he just played this well. He anticipated, took that, took that step, that giant step to kind of give his quarterback a little extra time. I really like that play. Uh, this where he picks up the stun. But then when he lets go of that other guy, he ends up getting to the quarterback. So I don't know if we have some, you know, offensive lineman that can chime in. I would think that it's the inside guy's job to pick that guy up when he lets him go. So you're going to see... So he steps up, he takes him, and it's a delay. He wraps around, so he picks that wrap around up. You know, so he picks it was a guard over end. So he picks up. Oh wow, that came from the whole other side of the field. So it looks like it was the the inside tackle that comes all the way around, and Walker Little picks it up. Does a great job of picking up. But then you have his right hand man misses that misses that pickup, and he isn't he, he Parker Little can't get everybody right. Uh, I just thought that was a really interesting play where you know Walker Little picked it up, but you know then then the guy that he was originally across from he ended up getting it, so it was just kind of stinks. So this guy goes all the way around. So you know first this guy steps up. And then this guy comes around the outside. So, it's just... I thought that was a really interesting play. So, he gets him. He he sees that this other guy's coming around. And he even pushes him into his, you know, his, his, his left guard. Like, hey, take this guy. But he isn't able to take him. And then he picks up 65, which is great. And then that original guy ends up getting... Oh, you know... He ended up breaking that tackle, which is great for the quarterback, but um, that was just an interesting play. Uh, this I have this down as not much, uh, but once again, he knows this guy is going to the outside. His little shuffle, he's not buying it. He's not buying the shuffle. He's really good at, at blocking that outside rush. I just wish I saw more moves from this defensive uh, this defensive end here, honestly. Another stunt that he uh, picks up pretty well. This one's more smooth. This was Garner. This was early in the the second um, second half. All right, so here is. Walker Little, right here, and now we have, first he's going to, this uh, this end's going to step up, then this guard is going to come over and slide, it's not even as wide as that, it's a, it's a little bit smaller, to be honest, he just kind of goes right over here, and Walker Little doesn't have to do much, he just switches from the one guy to the next. play this a little bit slower steps up steps up he goes in so as soon as you see the 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 end go in y you anticipate that uh that guard coming over it's it's pretty simple that wasn't very smooth by cleveland but once again walker little is on top of it 
Should have been a pick. Great pickup by Walker Little. Here he is again. Do we have a blitzer? No, we don't. Let's step back. Dang, Walker Little shut that down. Let's play that again. We're going to go slow. Okay, so first, you see the the... Like, the tackle kind of go in a little bit. So he's he's picking up two guys at this point. Then his end tries to go in. And then his other guy tries to keep the separation with his arm. Walker Little's not having it. And he cuts off that separation. Uh, holds him real tight. And, uh... Yeah, gives his quarterback time. Once again, he's not letting his guy go anywhere. Stud. Right then, uh, we have one of the one of the bad plays. You know, I gotta show some of the bad plays, right? So, Urban Meyer kind of brought this up uh, in in the press conference after the game. Where Walker Little kind of has an issue keeping keeping his hands really low. So as soon as uh, he's going to anticipate that contact, see how low his hands are? He drops them. And then now he can't stop the speed rush because his hands are too low. So literally that guy just hops right over his hands because of how low they are. Uh, so that's just something that he kind of needs to fix. I, I mentioned this in the article uh, that I put out from... USA Today, so uh, check that out on Touchdown Wire. Uh, we just got to work on the hands, kind of dropping a little bit, but otherwise we saw a lot from this guy. Th this this rookie is picking up stunts. His head is on a swivel. He keeps good leverage. He's low. Uh, there's a lot of things that I really like from Walker Little. Just pay attention to him, you know, against this, uh, this New Orleans Saints team. They play on Monday night. It's the only Monday game. It's going to be exciting. Make sure you check out number 72, Walker Little. And thank you guys so much for tuning in to my uh, mini breakdown. Thanks.